County started reopening today, and that means parts of Aurora can see customers again while the rest waits. It also opens the door for people in neighboring counties to drop by for a service they can't get in their own. Jacqueline Allen now with the Contact 7 Rebound team is covering the divide for us tonight. She joins us live from a boutique that reopened just today. Jacqueline. That's right, Festive Cup Cafe and Boutique is a mom and pop shop ready for this rebound. They're very proud that they were able to open their doors today. And on its doors, they are warning people to observe social distancing. Like a lot of Doug Co businesses I talked to today, they're not exactly sure how this safer at home order will really work, but everyone seems determined to get back to work. Inside Festive Cup, vanilla latte. You can buy a cup of coffee, but the cards are still off limits. I'm not sure how this works. If somebody comes in and buys coffee, can they buy a gift? I don't know. So right now, we're not selling the gifts. They don't have curbside pickup, which is required for retailers under Safer at Home. This is a place where you have to come in and look, right? So no one's going to call up and say, would you bring a greeting card out to the curb? In downtown Castle Rock, the Emporium is sort of open for business, taking orders online and leaving the bags outside for customers what feels like the start of something good. Now we've got people picking up packages right and left and we're still offering delivery here in Castle Rock. This is a huge step for us just to be able to offer another service, um, you know, contactless curbside pickup and looking forward to being able to open our doors. But some businesses are confused about changing orders and changing dates. I'm booked for the next two weeks, so nonstop and everybody is. This hairdresser says the weeks she's been closed have been a struggle. A lot of sweet clients have just sent me money in the mail which is wonderful. It's hard, to, it's hard to take. She believes this is the first day she can be back open, and it was at some point, but under Safer at Home, the date for salons opening changed to Friday. For businesses, it's hard to keep up and find a balance between safety and staying afloat. Well, I uh, would have to give Governor Polis credit. He, he doesn't seem to be, you know, putting in a lot of extra measures. Uh, so I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it straightened out. We're just going to do the best we can. Like I say, May 1st, hopefully people will be able to come in the store and uh, sit down again with social distancing and we can start getting back to normal. Now, a lot of businesses I talked to today are still closed here in Douglas County. County officials tell me they're all still trying to figure out the public health guidelines just released today to figure out exactly how to implement this safer at home policy. A lot of them are waiting until May 1st when they can actually let people start coming into their businesses. Reporting live in Highlands Ranch, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.